Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend to the Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. And now that we've completed the Skull Woods, it's time to go to the next dungeon, which isn't that far away. And I've already taken so many hits. Uh, but anyway, I think it's probably gonna be easier to just go back to the Light World in the Lost Woods. So I don't even think it's called the Lost Woods in this area here. Anyway, I don't know why I call it the Lost Woods, but it's fine. Just something I seem to have always done. Uh, but anyway, let's head on all the way down here to go back to the dark world because that's where we need to be. And then we can continue. I'm going to take that magic. Okay. And there we go. So now we need to head to the the Kakariko village because that's where the next dungeon is. Ah, uh, but in this, in the Dark World, it's actually called the Thieves' Village. I'm pretty sure, the, or the Village of Thieves, a village of outcasts. Apparently, according to the sign, this is the village of outcasts. People without rupees are not welcome. Okay, well I have rupees, so that's fine. It's all fine. Quit bothering me. Watch where you're going when you dash around. I'm sorry. Uh, let me go all the way down here then. There's also some more thieves that will try to run into you and steal your stuff, so I need to stay away from them. Uh, but anyway, there's also this tree over here that we can talk to. Wow, I haven't seen a normal person in a few hundred years. Let me talk to you for a while. Do you know about the gargoyle statue in the village? People say they can hear a girl calling for help from under the statue. Isn't that a strange story? We need to keep that in mind. Uh, but I'm going to do a few side quests before we move on. Okay. So let's go over here. No, can't do anything there. I thought I could do that. Nope. Uh, check a few more places. They seem to say a lot about the people here. Yeah, that's the same sign as the other few that I've already checked. Let me also blow this up over here and check what's inside. I like how just when you're walking around you can find like spots where it looks like you picked up a pot, a, a, a flower or a rock. Or got rid of them at least. Uh, that's just like a really cool thing because you can see these like holes in the ground where it looks like you picked up a stone. And then there's these bits here that look like the places where you got rid of one of these plants. So I just like that as an idea for the, the area. Just looks better. Adds to the atmosphere. Uh, but anyway, let's go into this building all the way up here, with a treasure chest above it, because this is another gambling game. Hi, may I help you? You can open chests for 30 rupees, why don't you play? Let's go. Alright kid, choose well, good luck. And we get to choose, I believe, three treasure chests. Or is it just two? No, it's just two, okay. And we have to just randomly get lucky with the stuff in here. There's a lot of different items you can get, so... Ah, uh, but only one of them has something special for you. 100 rupees, making a little bit of rupees back from this minigame. It might take me a little bit to get this though. It's all random luck, so... Although I'm, I'm guessing that if you have luck from the fairy fountain, you'll probably have a better chance of succeeding. Also, I just remembered something else I can do in a minute. Which is something that I didn't know I could do for a long time, so I, I should probably look at doing that if I get the opportunity. Wow, I'm not having a lot of luck, am I? Okay, please, 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 please. Nope. We'll go for a back chest. Okay, another arrow. Well, that's a shame. Ah. Okay, ten arrows, a heart, I don't think I can talk to him again, can I? No, I can't, okay. You have to actually reload the room, you can't just talk to him to reset, which would be nice. I have to pay rupees first, why, why, just, just let me play, please. Fifty rupees, okay. 
I feel like this is kind of like a minesweeper kind of idea, but I don't think it is. I don't know what the pattern is to this. I think it's just completely random. No, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Because there was the 50 rupees which made me think maybe one of the chests like next to it will have something even better than it. Okay. So... I guess then I should be checking the... the chests that have more chests around them. If that's the case. It's probably not, but you know. Then pro probably won't have good items in them just because there's so many options around them. I'm so bad at this game! <laughs> it's all lock based though. There we go! Oh my goodness, how did that take so long to get a piece of heart from that? I guess each time is a very low chance of getting that, but also... Oh my goodness, that took a long... Long time for just that. Uh, anyway, let me look around quickly because up here... This building isn't actually accessible, but we can see it's still here. It looks a little bit different from what we've known it to look like. Uh, that's just the same sign. Also, there's this thing here that you can also get to into in the light world, but I don't think it has anything there. It might have a... I feel like it might have a fairy though in the light world, maybe. Unless it's just still nothing. If it's anything, I, I would think there's a fairy here, but I don't think there is. Nope, nothing. Cool. Anyway, back in the dark world. There's a few houses that I want to quickly check because I, there's a quite a few rupees that you can get here. Just from treasure chests that are around. Because, you know, it's the village of thieves. Slash outcasts. Also, this picture here, if we hold onto it and then pull. I'm pretty sure. Am I not wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I feel like I, there was something about that that I, I learned about. Like where if you pulled on it, it would give you some rupees, but I guess not. I might be just- I might also just be crazy. Or I might be thinking about a, a, one of those in a different spot or something. Also, hello shop. I guess that's everything here then. It's not as much as I thought there was to do. Ah, uh, but anyway. Nope, don't steal my stuff, please. Oh, it's fine. Oh, there's also one of the- I wanted to also check below the town just here as well. Well, there's a toad guy there. Oh, we can also go down there, but I don't think there's anything actually there to do. So there's a few things that we could do if we had the right equipment, but we don't, so... Let's just pull on this statue, roll backwards, and it's open now, so... Alright, this dungeon is going to be interesting. It has these, some new enemies around. It also has a lot of these star things to get you and turn you into, a, turn you into your, uh, what's it called, dark world form. There's also a tree chest there that we need to get. We can only access it from the bottom floor. There's a lot of areas to jump off here. And there is the dungeon map. Cool. That's going to be helpful. Because now we can see that these rooms actually connect underneath the, uh, underneath the platforms from above. Don't think there's anything down there. Okay. Let's get going. Also, there's- those guys will shoot fireballs. So the enemies in here can be quite strong. So we need to be careful of that. Thank you. Okay, red rupee. I don't think it's going to give me anything important in any of these chests up here until we get to the chest that was down below from a different area. So let's just jump down. I believe it's behind some of these um, platforms on the second floor, there might actually also be uh, the stars to transform you. Uh, but anyway, I saw that there's a crack up on this wall over here that I want to check out. Because there's also the stairs that allow us to get up. Uh, just blue rupee. Don't really need rupees right now, considering we have 7, 700. 
7,700, same thing. I got so many from the gambling, since I had no choice. Ah, uh, but anyway. There's a room that we can't do anything in right now, because we can't access anything from there. I don't actually think there's anything up here that we needed to do. So getting- going through that- blowing up that wall isn't actually needed. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's jump down. Oop, stars. Oh, more stars. Also slow down. Uh, is there a treasure chest around here? Am I crazy? Probably just crazy. Also, that door's locked. Need the big key to get through there. I think that's everything up here, just about. So let's jump down. Well, actually just go down the stairs down here. And let's go down to the next screen. Oh, please don't hurt me. It's all good. Treasure chest with the compass. So we know where the end of the dungeon is. Right up there. Wow, that's not very far away. Um... But we need to go get that tray chest, which we can do now. Also, I don't think we want to go through this door. I think this door is a trap. So let's just jump down here. And go across. Yeah, that door closes when we go into here. So that would have been the wrong way to go. But here's the big key now. So now we can go to that door that was locked before. Ow, 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 slow down. Everything happening all at once. Okay. That didn't take very long to get through all that. Ah, but now we have this way, which leads us all the way to the boss room, where there is no boss. That's it. There's there's no boss. So we just need to get through here a little bit more. There's also that key that we just got from that skull, just a little bit hidden. Ah, but now we can get into this room that we couldn't get to before. Also, I wanted to do the other thing that I didn't show last time, but talked about. Because I, I want to see, want to see it happen. I don't know if there's one of those in here though. The stars. There's these things. Also, anti fairy, which we can turn to a regular fairy. Ow! 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 Also, these things we can only hit their weak point when it leaves their main body. Ow! 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 Please. Anti-fairy, thank you. Oh my goodness, that fairy was transparent. Uh, also, that way is locked off, so we don't want to go through there. Let's just go this way instead. Being careful, mostly. Ow, 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 ow. Transparent fairy. Why is the fairy transparent? I don't know. Uh, anyway, there's a key there. There's also these switches that we can, or the switch that we can hit to release everything. And all that and go upstairs. I think I actually wanted to have the thing down, possibly. Uh, no, it's fine. Mostly. Uh, I probably want to go check that, though. Also, what happens if we pull the switch? It drops enemies, cool. Just gotta get rid of all those. So there's the button down there that allows us to get through the door. That's only available when the switch is blue. Ah, but there's also the panel on the wall that we want to check, probably, before anything else. Link, it is- oh my goodness. Link, it's me, Zelda! Don't be de deceived by the magic of the blind thief. Be careful. Now... That might sound slightly familiar to us. Also, hello. No, wrong one. Because Blind the Thief was the name of the character that owned the... That building in Kakarika Village in the Light World. That the NPC told us about. Also, the magic... I, I missed the magic on that thing there. That's a shame. Let me see if it respawns if I do this. Because I think it would. Yeah, there we go. That turns that into a fairy. If we use the magic powder on a, uh... The... The stars that turn turn us into the bunny. Uh, but anyway. Let's actually go up this way now. Blind of the Thief. Hated light. Which is... You must have hated this tunnel then. Or this passageway. 
This is actually really cool because this is actually... This room up here is the hideout in the village, up just above ground, which is really cool. Just because that actually, this area ties in to the outside. With like the windows and everything. Uh, but anyway, let's open up this chest and get some bombs. We need those. So it's a good thing I have the, the those there. So let's pick up a bomb and throw that onto there. Which shines light into that hole there. Uh, but anyway, that's that done. So let's just explore the rest of the dungeon now. Okay. And I think I want to have the switch stay like that, probably. Probably? Probably. I hope so. Yeah, because I need to go through this. There. Cool. Very nice. Uh, I think one of these might have something important, possibly. Yeah, this switch there opens that door there. Which I didn't want to go into, but I got pushed into. Which takes us back to the... <sighs> the boss room there. I don't like that it pushed me into the doorway when I wasn't trying to go in there. Just have to go a little bit back. Okay, let's go up now. Also, I want to check the, the lower door, I think, because I don't think I've ever been in here. It's just rupees, okay. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> oh well. Maybe they just randomly rolled level design, or the map design, and then built the rooms around that. I mean, that would be a cool idea. Can I please hit you? Please? Please? Thank you. Also, there's this... Uh, block here that we can't pick up. No, we can't pick it up. Am I crazy? Can you always do that? Oh, I guess... No, I'm sure you're supposed to... What? What? Okay, so maybe we can just pick those up. I always thought you couldn't pick those up for some reason. Because now that just makes it... way easier than it should be. I'm so confused because I didn't think you could pick that up, but... Apparently we can. Oh, I guess you, I, that would make sense, considering we can get through here. Uh, this is also a trap room, so we, there's nothing actually in here. We just need to take out the enemies to be able to get back out again. I was attempted by that heart up there, but not tempted enough. Uh, anyway, then. We're supposed to only be able to pick this up with uh, the power glove. Also, this room here connects over to this area here. Which is why I thought you had to come back for this, because I thought you couldn't pick this up unless you went around here first. Also, there's a whole thing here I don't think we can fall into. Or well, maybe, maybe we can, actually. I see where that links up, so I think that maybe we can. I've already been wrong about enough things, so I, I, I'll just accept the game as knowing everything at this point. Uh, but anyway, here's the Maiden. Oh, thank you very much. You saved my life. Please take me outside. And a small key. Oh, hello. So we found the maiden. Also, thanks for that. Ah, uh, no, please. Thank you. I don't know how I'm still alive, but anyway. Uh, we can also dash with the maiden following us, which is interesting. Well, I guess not that interesting, but anyway. Let's just get out of here. And I believe this hole... no. No, that's, that hole doesn't connect. Hang on. Does it actually connect to that middle room back there? I have to find out about this now. Because if that's there, I'm assuming we can actually fall into it. Possibly. But that only, the only way that that could connect if it, if it connects in this room... Maybe... No, please, please, no, please, no. Okay, good. Maybe we can push one of the blocks to get through here. Because that didn't blowing up didn't open it. I don't know if you can only push it or only pull it. If it's one of these blocks. Maybe I'm just crazy and you can can actually go 
into that one area. I don't know. Oh dear. That's the wrong button again. I always do that. Oh, that's not good. Go up, please. Thank you. I'm going to try falling into this hole over here, even though this doesn't line up where with where it should. Yeah, that's not it. Cool. <laughs> At least now I know that maybe that just is there for no reason. Possibly. Anyway, hit that. Uh, it'd be nice to have more health than I currently have. Also, am I crazy? Oh, yes, I am crazy. I forgot to go to the other room downstairs. I have to go all the way around now. Oh my goodness, I was closer than I should have been. I was very close. Okay. Also, that's blocked off. That's fine, I need to go this way because this way is the actual way that I'm supposed to go. Also, can I? Or can I not? I cannot. <laughs> Come here, anti fairy, I need you. What? There we go. Get a little bit of health back. I don't know how I forgot to check that other room. I guess it's because I got the maiden and then thought I was basically done, but. Uh, we got a key from the same room as the maiden, and I want to check the other room that I didn't check. Because we didn't get a. What's it called? We didn't get a dungeon item. And it's pretty important to get that, so... Uh, let's just go ahead and grab this, which is... The Titan's Mitt. Now you can lift the heavier stones that were once impossible to budge. And that's why I thought that we needed to get that before we could pick up the giant blocks. But apparently not, I'm just crazy. Anyway. Now that we have that, we can actually get out of here. This also means that we can actually, um pick up the the darker stones now and also the darker skulls which will make things a lot easier for getting around uh, the dark world uh, but anyway let's go into the boss room and take the made into the light Gah, too bright because blind the thief who is the boss was pretending to be the maiden and doesn't like light so if we take the maiden to the light, it reveals the true form. Oh boy. Also, I believe I should do some spin attacks to try and do some good damage. He has quite a few moves. Also, once his head is detached, it's permanently detached and he grows another head. And also, we can't do anything about it and we're going to probably have a little bit of trouble with this fight. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. There's a second head now. They're both floating around. Doing lots of crazy projectiles. This is this is just bullet hell now. <laughs> Luckily, if I have my shield aimed the correct way, I should be able to block most of their shots. But there we go. Last head. It's done. We get another heart container. And the real maiden. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise men sealed the way to the Dark World, the Knights of Hyrule defended them from the attacks of the evil monsters. I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the Knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has, t has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can destroy Ganon. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. And there we go. And now that that dungeon is completed, we can do some more things. Which m it makes more sense now that we have the Titans Mitt to everything else that I couldn't do before. So now, let's go down here. And we can actually pick up these dark skulls now. Which allows us to talk to this frog, I guess. Ribbit, ribbit. 
Your body did not change. Are you not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. I wonder what my partner is doing there without me. Ribbit. I have a request of you. Please take me to my partner. Please, Ribbit. Please. Okay, let's do that. He's following us now. Uh, and if we go over this way... And go to the light world... The frog turns into, like, a little dwarf, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure this is the dwarf's blacksmith, so... Oh, happy days are here again. You found my partner. We are very happy now. Drop by here at, at that time. We will temper your sword perfectly. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's leave them now and head back in. Talk to one of them. Hey you, welcome. Ask us to do anything. Ah, uh, please temper my sword. I'll give you a big discount. Sword tempered 10 rupees. Sure, why not? Temper day, eh? are you sure? Yes I am. Alright, no problem. We'll have to keep your sword for a while. So we don't have a sword anymore. <laughs> Just for the moment. Uh, which will allow us to do a few other things while we wait for it to do it. It doesn't take too long though. We just need to change the screens a couple of times probably. Uh, but while we're here in the dark world, we can actually go in here and hit all of these pegs into the ground. So let's do that. And it may not seem like it's important, but this is also a Zelda game. And Zelda games have always had secrets in sometimes strange ways, but this is actually a pretty cool way to do something as a secret. Uh, and if we hit all of them, then the last one turns this stump into a hole that we can go into. And there's another piece of heart for us. Another heart container? Very nice. And now we have 16 hearts. That's pretty good. Considering we also have three more dungeons left to do. So that means we're doing very well for ourselves. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the light world now. Let's head in. See if they're done with my sword. Your sword is is tempered up. Now hold it. Great, your sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power flowing through your body. So now our sword is stronger and will do more damage when we hit things. Which is pretty good. Because we already had the Master Sword, but now we can do even more power with the Master Sword. Which is going to make fighting just regular enemies <laughs> a lot easier because sometimes... I mean, it hasn't been too bad with some of the enemies. Uh, but there's been a few times where I've had to hit them a lot. Mostly Gibdos, but anyway. In the Dark World, there's a chest here. Because the key is locked inside the chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. So that's what we're doing. And I believe we can't dash, otherwise we'll leave it behind. Uh, but now, we can take it to the Light World. Which is good for us, because that's when we need to take it. I believe... We can actually also fly with it, which doesn't make sense if we can't dash with it, so... Let's do that. Let's take it to number seven. Oh, I forgot I couldn't dash with it. Come here, chest. Come on. Let's go. On a journey. Okay. Also, I did want to check over here a few other things as well. Which I forgot to do last time. Uh, because I believe we can pick up one of these stones. And there's a cave underneath it. Although I don't think we can take the chest inside of places, so we have to do it, do this, finish up with this chest first. When we went to the Lost Woods for the first time, one of the thieves down there said that one of their, one of their friends, who used to be a thief, had stopped and gone down to the desert. And this guy here is actually that done that post thief thief I guess I don't know I don't know how to call him retired thief I heard that you know I used to be a thief right well I'll open a chest for you will you keep it a secret from everyone else ah uh, would you please promise I'll promise not to tell he opens up the chest for us with another magic bottle inside that's very nice so now we have four uh, magic bottles, which might be a good idea to actually fill that then. There's also this thief here. 
Check out the cave east of Lake Hylia. Strange and wonderful things live in it. I think we've already done that. Also, that guy doesn't actually have any other purpose than to tell us about that. I guess so. I guess there wasn't anything important down here, but I remember that was there, so. And that's the real thing that I needed to do, so. Ah, uh, now. Let me... Ah. Not die, please. Let me actually go. I can't remember which is the next dungeon. And I want to make sure that I go to the dungeon that is next before doing specific things. So, let's go up this way. I'm just going to go to the Dark World so I can check. There we go. Because there's a few things now that we have the golden... or the... What are they called? Oh, it won't tell me from here. Oh well, the gold... mitts. Ah, uh, but anyway, it looks like the next dungeon is the one over at Lake Hylia. So we need to head over there then. Now uh, this is also, now that we have the gold mitts, is the way you're supposed to get the... the cape. That we've already got, so... Ah, uh, but anyway, let's head over to the next dungeon then, which we actually need to be in the light world to get to, so... Let's just go to the light world. Although I guess I should probably stop here for now. So that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.